but the rest of the book is a book about individual responsibility as an antidote in some sense to the tragedy and malevolence of life. Uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. I'm going to interrupt there really quickly. Do you see why you, yeah. what you just said, your book is in and of itself seen as political based on what you just said? You must see this. It's about the power yeah, of the of individual, course, well, which is, of course, yeah. your place in the power of the individual, the influence of the, I guess, sort of the power of the individual over their own destiny, over the importance of the collective. And that is why leftists will always see it as political. There's no way out of it. You just have to embrace it because it's about the collective. Well, I guess the, the, re the reason that I think it's, it is political, but it's more than political. And that's the case that I make in the book. It's that the idea that the individual should be sovereign is not a political idea. Right. It's a philosophical idea. It's actually a theological idea. It's actually the fundamental theological idea. And that's actually the level at which this battle has to be fought, because it is in some sense a battle between the idea that the collective is sovereign versus the idea that the individual is sovereign. And the great idea of the West, more than any other cultural group, I would say, especially the articulated idea, is that even for the sake of the group, the individual has to be sovereign because the individual is the force that revitalizes the group when it becomes hidebound and, and static. Mm -hmm. And I, I think the evidence for that is overwhelming. I think the West got that right. Like we got some things right. The sovereignty of the individual is the most important one. The absolute necessity for freedom of expression. That's another thing we got right. We got the idea of private property right conjoined with the notion that you also have responsibility to your property so that you shepherd it and use it, pro use it properly. These are not political ideas. They're, they are because they, they find expression in the political realm, but they're rooted in something far deeper than mere opinionated politics. And 12 Rules for Life explains why that is. Right. And I think the evidence is clear from, from neurobiology, from neuroscience, from evolutionary psychology, from mythology, from comparative literature, and I talk about all that in the book. It's like the pattern uh, from game theory, from economic theory, like the evidence is compiling from multiple disciplines simultaneously that there is a central ethic that drives productive, well, let's say that helps you be healthy as an individual, that drives positive relationships between you and your intimate partner, that sets your family straight, that works good for the community, all of that. It, there's an ethic that does all of that, and it's not merely an arbitrary political opinion. I believe that that's wrong. That's why the postmodernists are wrong. Enough of them. They are wrong. 